Alright, so we're currently over at the Commentator Judges Panel booth. I'm commentating for today for the D1 Open Class Queensland vs New South Wales Drift Series today. It's not, sorry, it's not a series, it's an event. Um, it's held by Drift HQ AU and Revolution Motorsport. So we've got a whole bunch of drivers up from uh, a state away. So if you guys are not familiar with Australia, uh, kind of our middle eastern state is New South Wales and then our upper right state is Queensland. So we're versing each other. Probably two of the biggest populations. Ugh. Okay, not not really. Melbourne will probably fight me if they're fighting words. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're starting right now. If we are, please bear with me. Um, but yeah, we have a really good turnout today. Queensland Raceway has been uh, repurchased by Tony Quinn, who has been doing a lot of changes lately. And he's built this kind of Jim Gymkhana drift car park. Thing out the front here. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know exactly what he's calling it these days. After the first part, he's been mixed it up, and like I said, New South Wales on the left hand side, and then Queensland on the right hand side. Whoever you want to battle again. That's some really cool cars. Yeah, and just team colours. Always a uh, different driver with each car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're probably about to get uh, deafened by a whole bunch of cars starting up, moving around. But let's just have a quick look around. We'll come back to the FC. I'm sure some of you guys know that car. It's now owned by Drift HQ over here in Queensland. God, that's a nice laurel. We've got some of the Team Kamikaze boys out. A lot of cool competition cars. There's a green FD getting around that's insanely loud. There's a beautiful, sorry, get me wrong here, Chaser Cresta, four-door Toyota powered 1J up the end there, that's amazing. There's this beautiful 86, 10 year build with a turbo, oh sorry, supercharged LS. <laughs> oh, I thought you were deliberately trying to hit me. <laughs> are you, you competing today? Hey. How are you guys? Hey, bro. You guys will be able to see this, this is Travis Roberts. Hey guys. You, you've got your own YouTube now, do you? No, oh. I thought about it okay, well, You would have seen him on some of the Drift Weekend, Luke Fink's channels and stuff. He's, you're competing today, are you going to win? Yeah. There is so much competition, it's going to be so much fun, man. I hope all the best. Thanks, mate. Have fun. So Travis also does stunt driving for the movie world over this way. So he's a very, very good driver. All the cars starting up. So many angry cars. <laughs> that is sick. Not used to seeing this thing yellow. You guys see this around pretty often. Hello! Best of luck today, man. I hope you saw that there was a misfire. The car has seen some battles. <laughs> we got Benke here in his C33 Laurel. I'll be 20. Good luck, Benke. Enjoy! Go rip those RB20s. <laughs> Look, it kind of looks like a car again. Yeah. Almost. Oh, was that that? Yeah, way through that one. Just because it's black, I think. If it wasn't black, it would that look... That stuff is the, like, savior that... That front bar. <laughs> so uh, we, we had to put that car back together for him. A, a little bit. Meters. Watch it I, I pulled out his rear there. It was absolutely yeah, munted. Shout out to Josh Bocho. Like seven or eight years ago, we went and watched a thing with him, and he's like, as long as your car's good from 10 meters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so did Josh Bocha coin that? Oh, I just thought it was a, a drift rule. I'm just oh, tweeting. It, it is a drift rule. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are all lining up to get ready. So we'll just finish our little walk here so you guys can have a look around. And uh, then we'll get ready to commentate for this. That is pretty. Dan Keneally. Oh 
Dan has a really cool 13 year. Day and I hope you get it sorted, bro. That thing was pretty crazy, too. We'll do our walk around as well, it's still quiet. Sorry. Yeah, right, yeah. Don't mean to interrupt. So 26, man? Yeah. So there's that's 34 in there. Look at the wear. Nice and sticky out here. I have no idea what's in this, but it's loud. Very cool. Hi, I'm Jaden Nuff from Drift HQ and Archie. There you go. Um, and we're about to send her, but. Yes. I was admiring his beautiful gold pants. <laughs> so you guys haven't seen this car before? It has the most obnoxiously fluffy dash you've ever seen in your life. Can you actually see your gauges? Occasionally, we sideways and flaps it around a bit. That's great. Beautiful car. Thank you. Alright, I'll catch you later in the day. some of this but we just had an F13 go into the wall down the back here so Queensland Raceway want to move some of the walls and make sure the drive is okay all that kind of stuff the judges are recalibrating their uh, lists and sorting out everything to get going for when we resume so we got Paul here <laughs> how you going bro oh all this technology it seems fun but it's not <laughs> It's actually really hard work. There's, there's a lot of stuff. So we've got wireless cameras, GoPros, digital SLRs, transmitters, receivers, 5G modems. A million walkie talkies. And walkie talkies. <laughs> These are the only things that aren't causing me stress. There's a barrier. So let's go. To the pits. They want to pick that up with the bike. And uh, go see how the guys are going. See how some of the drivers are faring Bobby. in the comp today. Yeah. We've got Tim. And he's 180. Very nice car, killer driving today. There you go. Some nice rub marks there. Fitment is everything. <laughs> so I think Tim, Hayden, and Brett. Uh, all probably the lowest, most slammed cars here today. <laughs> How are you finding it? The car's feeling actually really good. Uh, just um, on some stupid in the yeah, was that the, the initiation on that first bit? I think so. Yeah, yeah what think. happened there? Oh, uh, like, when I... The... Just before, yeah, yeah, just yeah, before. Yeah, I, mean, I was in fifth gear. So oh, yeah, no! I had to go back to third and reinitiate. Oh. Up, yeah. A bit of a closer look at the uh, cars. Might have a quick chat with the drivers.
How are you guys all going out there? Good. You killing it? Yeah. You guys are going really well. You look good from yeah. where I am. Oh no! 86 went to one! He's refusing to give up though. <laughs> 86 washing out pretty hardcore on that first corner. Center right behind him. So we're here chilling with Brad. Brad, tell us a little about your car. Uh, it's a 2013 GT86. Um, built it in 19 months. It's got uh, the world's only twin supercharged uh, LS2 in it. Uh, running a PPG sequential gearbox. Um, yeah, just uh, all built by myself at home in my garage. And, That's right. Nice. Yeah, and for the international guys that don't know too much about Australian drifting, what do you compete in? So you, you do the Australasian events? Yeah. Yeah, um, so I do uh, probably the premier events in Australia at the High Tech Series at the moment. So I've uh, done, do the High Tech Series, I've won that championship twice. Um, do like the Australasian stuff, which is uh, one of the world well time as well. get the win there this year as well so excellent um, but there's also mad grassroots events like this as well which some of these guys here could compete on the international scene without a problem you've got drivers like yourself they're like i don't care man i just want to drive i just want to drive driving's driving i don't care if you've got a two thousand dollar car or a two hundred thousand dollar car you know <laughs> you're a bit okay. of a smoke show going on here you know guys like this guy here tim rogers Man, the car's beating up to hell, but he drives killer. Oh, man. Technical, uh... <laughs> that is a mean sounding car. Todd, Todd Henson. So the guys are saying this has been more of a fun toy than a, you know, bring it out for comps and stuff. Yeah, I was just sort of building it like the last year or so and started driving more and more and then you don't really get to drive much until you're not doing the comps and stuff. So yeah. How's it been going today? Is there any comps or any drivers that you're looking forward to driving against? No, not really. No. Okay. So beautiful, it sounds mint as well. So, uh, for all the people that are obsessed with horsepower on the internet, yep. 400 horsepower. 400? Oh, that's amazing. 800 horsepower, there you go. I don't like asking the horsepower question, but you guys are always going to annoy me about it, so I'll let you know. That is a beautiful build, bro. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. Here we have a close up of Santa Tani's butt. No. <laughs> uh, this is Senna's 33. This thing has seen the wars, man. It has been around for many years, many comps, many driftings, and uh, I think it is still the same chassis. I don't think he's had to reshell it just yet. And then we have Benke's. Benke's Laurel, like I said, is a million colors. A million stickers. Glad he's having fun though. He's doing some good driving today. You. If you guys want to get a Loki SX sticker, uh, give me a couple of weeks and I'll get them out. Some nice felt doors or Alicantara. 
Nice car. It's Travis, Travis Roberts, 370Z. Guy can drive. Travis, are you having fun? Absolutely. Mate. Just waiting around? <laughs> there isn't, you're getting some killer laps down man. Yeah, it's cool. Really consistent driving. The judges are enjoying it as well. Oh no, Brett's front bar is coming off. Oh no, not the front bar, Brett. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so Brett's front and rear bar has copped it this morning. Get that. So what happened there was I came in like <laughs> no, 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 and I was just having so much fun that I'm like, I'll do a bottle top here and then I've thrown it and um I threw it a little bit too hard. I lost my wing. <laughs> Better go and have a red. Right, it was killer, it looks sick. <laughs> Timmy from Drift HQ. This thing is crazy loud. Very cool to car. This is really cool too. I love this thing. putting on his front bar again. Thankfully it didn't get damaged on that one. Sorry, what was your name? Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay, Lindsay has a Polaroid out here. Genuine old school Polaroid, taking some very freaking cool photos. They don't tell you. Got our Autobox guys, got the D1 trophies, and a bunch of people. Very cool. <laughs> I know where to find this car. I will show you all about it very soon. Nice. Auto. Or maybe. Link. Hi. You guys having fun? Huh? Are you having fun? Always. Always? Yep. Or sometimes? Uh, <laughs> that napping sounds really good, but drifting sounds cool too. So. This is a cool setup you guys have here. And it works. Oh, sick. It's a lot easier than carrying a full car around. Uh, yeah. So I'm just uh, a basic GPS map. Uh, Show you guys. Same thing down to the dash. Sweet. That's awesome. Nice strong finish from the 86 here. as well. I have been given the task of judging the comp for today, the D1 Open Class, Queensland versus New South Wales. Ben Case put down a nice pace here. Adrian's got a good lead. Both drivers pretty consistent.
They might not be door on door, but that was a nice run for both drivers. We have like a two second lull fixing out the barriers. I'll just introduce you to the judges panel. We have BJ Shemri, we got Billick, and we have Barry Clark. All these guys are drivers in their own rights, in their own fields. Did you guys have to call up? You didn't call up. You're Queenslander, you're? Yeah, I'm Queenslander. Yeah, he ain't a driver. He ain't a driver? He's got a driver. Just because I'm smoking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you make it? So you can get him coming off the line and just follow him. I think he makes like 600, still smoking. Nah. What do you guys, what do you guys will drive? Let, let the, uh, the internet know. What do you Me? drive? Yeah, what do you drive? I've got a one via SR. Yep. You've got an S13 SR. Yeah. What do you drive, Barry? S13. S13. So if you guys don't know Barry Clark, you're living under a rock. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Alright, Dan versus Travis. Professional driver versus professional stunt driver. Well, Travis has had a really good chase game for most of the day. Dan has been working out some little niggles driving a borrowed car that has been getting into his zone lately. Some nice clean runs from these two. Uh, Travis is not giving Dan any room. Very solid run for both drivers. All right, we got round two. We have Travis versus Dan. Driving lead. Here we go. This is going to be a hard one. Battles like these come down to the smallest little error. Definitely got the judges deliberating on that one. All right, here we have the re, uh, well, the, the finale. I did not think anything could outrun that FD, and Timmy is really giving it some. Oh, FD makes a mistake. drivers here yeah cool yeah first of all I just want to say thank you for coming out today especially for the first time uh, what a wonderful turnout can't believe actually how much driving there was we had over 72 battles today just to put it into perspective so that's a lot of driving so we'll get to the big stuff right now so so for third driving absolutely consistent all day on everyone's door Literally couldn't put it past the guy. For fourth, thank you. <laughs> Are you happy, Benky? I'm so happy. I'm glad, brother. Always happy. Go! Absolute killer driver. I've never met the bloke before, but after watching him today, he's probably one of my favourite. Uh, Will in the S14. Woo! All done, mate. You... All day. Just awesome. Someone give me a hand a little. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Stay up here, mate, if you want, you can hang out with us, it's up to you. Considering <laughs> this guy entered actually last night, and he, he does it every time. Oh no! There's always one. Absolute killer driver every time I've seen him. Every comp, he actually enters late and always gets into the top three somehow. So, well done, Nug. You have absolutely killed it, mate. first place, which I'm actually blown away by this guy because he's never actually done a comp in his life, he's just a consistent street driver, so props to him, he's been consistent all day, actually has not made one strike aside from the barrier, but that's fine, we all do that. Hayden Finney in the S14, well done mate, first place, absolute killer driver. Number one, number one. Yeah. Keep. Bring that rocket. Give it a pause, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. You should have figured that out already because it was a Queensland versus Queensland final battle. So, Queensland are the winners. Always up, baby. I don't want to say a speech. So, that's. Hey on guys, thanks everyone for coming out. It's awesome that the drift scene sort of backing everyone and one another. So these smaller events where isn't things aren't taken so seriously seem to be the most fun events. So yeah. if everyone just keeps coming out to these events and the Revo guys have done an amazing job. This is the first time they've come to Queensland Raceway. And this is the most probably fun I've had at QR in a long time, if not ever. Oh, you got tires too, you know that. You got like, go burn them if you want. <laughs> Top three, go do some burnouts, eh? Come yeah. on, boy. Play the things up. If, if top three doesn't want to go, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, that was the finale of the D1 Open Glass Grassroots as Hell uh, Drift Comp that we've had at QR. It has been great. Uh, big thanks to Revolution Motorsport, Dory, Dory Junkie, uh, Waterbox, Wing EC, and also Drift HQ, AU. Uh, hit up these guys on your socials, they're everywhere. These guys have put on a killer What did you break, Benke? Other than fucking my car up. No, my speedo drive came out of my gearbox in my Victor <laughs> Flagception. What are you doing, so, Benjamin? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we can. Did you have fun seeing the finals? Pardon? You guys can see Lachlan again? Yeah. Here's uh, Mr. Evo Erna. Very hard to see at the moment because the lighting, twilight is making it very hard with contrast. Look how cool it is. I told you we'd check this out before we left. 
Let's have a quick look. Sorry, it won't be a second long one. Truck is full of parts. So the guys had it on the hoist until yesterday, and then they put it back together just to bring it out to the track today. Because they're going to pull the 13B out and do a full refresh on it. But if you've been in drifting a while, you definitely know this car. Fine, bro. You were my dream freaking car out there. <laughs> it was so beautiful, and your yeah. driving was on point all day. Oh, thank you. So, uh, Jimmy show you. <laughs> a little bit of aftermath of the uh, exhibition we just put on with that 360. <laughs> and um, this is how close we got to the wall here. Very nice. Oh, yeah, holy crap. Can you guys see that? And this is Mission well done, <laughs> Hi, I'm Tim Rogers, and this mission's Ben. <laughs> You're gonna join in as well so that we can get like a full jackass team going. Oh, we just hugged. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Such a good day. I feel like the story can change so quickly in the end, you know. It's like how do you Freddy's think you're going? Such a good I don't know, like I, I thought I was driving good and the car felt good. It just felt like fast for the height that it's at. And then yeah, it's like my battle with Brett, I was like, this is gonna be tight because we've driven together for so long. Yeah. You know? And we both are so comfortable with chasing one another, so I'm like, it's going to be real tight because we can really drive hard, knowing but, that. Well, oh, you had the whole judges panel like, yes, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be right. so good. Yeah. So, and then Brett broke an axle, so it's like it really sort of just snowballed from there. Like, so yeah, well, I just got to have fun, and now I get to take. Go ahead with trophies and right. tires. <laughs> More uh, tires for the next round. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, it was so good. Such a good event. Are you happy with Titan? Yeah, I mean it's good. Like bit of panel damage that we're gonna need a fix, but other than that, good day. I was uber jealous I couldn't be driving. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh should probably do a wrap up. Alright guys, till next time. Say goodbye to Hayden. We'll probably see him again soon. You will. Later. <laughs>